Let's think together. John was given a test of separating the mixture of nails and sand without sorting and promised that if he managed to do it, he would be taken to a Kajera National Park to visit animals as a reward. But he failed. If you were him, what way would you use to separate nails from sand? Think of the question. What method would you use to separate nails from sand without sorting? Today, we are going to talk about magnets. Have you ever seen magnets? Wow! So today we are going to focus on magnets and study its uses, the use of magnets in everyday life. Maybe I've seen things like those. So we are going to discuss the types, the uses, and so on. Welcome again. So what is a magnet? A magnet is an object that attracts materials usually made of iron or steel. I think you know a nail, you know a knife, you know a razor blade. All of them are made of iron or steel. A magnet will be that object which is able to attract those materials. For example, here we have a magnet. And we have a nail. So the, ma the material or an object which is able to attract that nail is called a magnet. There is an attraction between a nail and a magnet. But a magnet attracts and a nail is attracted. What is magnetism? Magnetism is the force of attraction a magnet has on another magnetic magnet or a metal. This magnet that you have here has a force of attraction that makes it able to attract a nail. That force of attraction is called magnetism. A magnet as we said before, is an object that attracts materials usually made of iron or steel. What are the types of magnets? There are three main types of magnets. The first one is bar magnet. Bar magnet. The next one is called horseshoe magnet. Horseshoe magnet. The third one is called electromagnet. Electromagnet. Now, let's think of the characteristics of magnets. They have two poles, namely the North Pole and the South Pole. As you see, here we have a magnet with a North Pole and a South Pole. Magnets, unlike poles of a magnet, attract while like poles repair. What is the meaning of this characteristic? We have a magnet here with north and south poles. We have another one with north and south poles. But as you see, the south pole is near the north pole. We said here that the like poles attract, the unlike poles attract, but like poles repair. Here we have the south, we have also the north. So they attract each other. Unlike poles attract, why like poles 
repair we have two poles we have two magnets the north poles are near to each other they go they are going to repair because they are of the same poles they repair this character states that unlike poles attract while like poles repair another character is that the magnetic force can pass through other materials to attract other magnetic substances for example here you see that the magnet are, can attract the nails while there is another material between the there is another material between the nails and the magnet so this material cannot prevent the magnet of attracting attracting the nails that is why we say that the magnetic force can pass through other materials to attract other magnetic substances let's go on with materials that are attracted by a magnet look at the following pictures materials that are attracted by a magnet are needles razor blade keys nails there are other many materials which are attracted by magnet you can list some of them. Thank you. Let's look at the materials which are not attracted by magnets. Look at the following pictures. Do you see, some, do you see something? Can you see the material which are not attracted by magnets? Okay, thank you. The materials which are not attracted by magnets are wood, glass, books, plastic bottles, and so on. You can also list some other materials which are not attracted by a magnet. Now friends, let us look at the uses of magnets. Magnets are used in everyday life, at home, in the offices, at work, everywhere we use magnets. But let's look at some uses of magnets. Magnets are used in radios, in fridge, in earphones, in loudspeakers, in motors, etc. They are used there to make them functioning or working. For example, here, there is a radio. A magnet is used in radio. Inside the radio, there is a magnet that captures the sounds. We have earphones. We have the fridge doors. When you open a free, you see that it closes immediately without pushing it because there is a magnet which is attracting the door. We have speakers. Inside the loudspeakers, we use magnets. We have the strip, magnetic strip. You know these machines. They are used for payment. They are used for transport and so on. So they use magnets. We have the compass to show the elections. The compass that shows the election is made of magnets. That is why we call it magnetic compass. Questions answered in this video. What is a magnet? What are the characteristics of magnets? Risk down materials that are attracted by a magnet. Give examples of devices that use magnet to work. Give types of magnets. What is magnetism? What is the difference between magnetic and non-magnetic materials with examples?